I'm uh, Edgar Kramer from Sandstone Australia, and I have the pleasure of uh, uh, having uh, Mark Levinson here to have a chat with us and uh, to tell us about uh, the latest uh, projects that Mark's working on. So, Mark, please um, tell us what Daniel Hertz has been up to. Okay, thanks. Well, for 12 years, Daniel Hertz was doing consulting and developing technology. I, I felt the need to uh, develop new technology. You know, um, you can only go so far with what's there. At some point, it's about innovation and creativity. And if you look at the technology of the audio world, it's pretty much 1960s technology, you know. Uh, the, the PCM digital audio waveform was invented in 1976, and it hasn't really changed since then. Well, we don't use much from 1976. We don't use mobile phones or computers or televisions or wireless from 1976. So the question is, you know, where, uh, where do we go from here? So for the last 12 years, Daniel Hertz has been developing technology and semiconductors, electronics, software, and speakers. And all together, it adds up to some very interesting and exciting developments, which are just now starting to come out. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm quite interested in some of the uh, electronic solutions that you're offering at Daniel Hertz. So quite aside from the speakers, obviously, uh, you're offering uh, some all-in-one electronics ideas. So maybe if you can tell us a little bit about those. Sure. Well, from the 1920s to 1960, we had vacuum tubes. In 19, around 1960, we got transistors. And now we have a new principle called Class D, which is in its early stages. Class D is a very interesting principle because it goes from digital to analog power in one block. Yeah. Super elegant, super clean, but yeah. it's early stage. So I decided to uh, make a project to develop uh, an extremely high performance Class D amplifier chip, but with internal blocks that could run uh, a special software suite um, called Mighty Cat. Mighty Cat is the name of this uh, software suite. Yeah. And the idea was to, to use the most advanced audio software built in to the amplifier chip to get some really powerful advantages. I thought it would be a good idea, but I didn't realize how good it actually would be <laughs> because it turned out to sound so good that I discontinued our analog equipment. Okay. Okay. Like, how can you tell people to spend more money to get less good sound? So, you know, I, I just couldn't justify it. So, sure. uh, the, um, this is a very exciting thing because not only does it represent a huge advance in sound, but it's also compact, lightweight, more affordable, energy efficient, low heat, mm -hmm. and uh, extremely flexible. For example, imagine putting, uh, let me put it another way. Let's say you want to make a, an eight channel car sound system. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't think about putting eight big, heavy mono amplifiers in a car, like the kind you would use at home, right? To get the best sound. But with this technology, we could have that sound in a car for the same price they're paying for what they use now. So, I mean, so they're, they're modules, in other words, that can be um, accommodated into a single chassis, and you could do similar things for high-end audio. Yeah. yeah, like this big, Yeah, <clears throat> that, that runs off a 12-volt battery. Yeah. I mean, we're doing some exciting things. It, it all sounds okay, but when you hear it, it's mm -hmm. really exciting. You have to hear it. You can, talking is just blah, 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 blah. But when you hear it, it's like, whoa, what is this? Sure. For example, 
I mean, it's not just good sound. It's actually much more than that. But you have to hear it. You know, that's why I don't, I don't, you can't convince anybody about art, right? You can't convince anybody that something tastes good, sounds good, feels good, looks good, smells good, unless they experience it, right? So exactly. it's all yeah. about the experience. But it's I would just that, say. Sorry, I was going to say something that uh, is actually quite um, uh, available uh, or quite easy to access in terms of an experience is something that you've been working on uh, and have developed uh, in terms of software called Masterclass. And that's something that can be uh, adapted to um, manipulate files uh, for any, any audio music lover. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about Masterclass? Well, first, no, my opinion, okay? I've never liked listening to digital audio ever from the first time it came. Right. And in my opinion, just for me, um, I would be lying to people if I told them that they were going to enjoy an expensive music system with conventional digital audio. I wouldn't. I, would, I wouldn't want to look. I prefer silence or play my instruments or something. Right. Sorry, but that's just, sure. or, analog, or analog, LPs, analog master tapes. Okay, but anyway, so I decided to try to improve digital audio. And for the last 20 years, that's really been an obsession. And finally, we have something, and this is the big news. This is not about a brand of equipment or speakers or amplifiers or anything else. It's about overcoming a fundamental issue, which is the limitations of PC and digital audio. And this, this is a big subject. This is for everyone, okay? It's not about a brand. The idea is that, well, pretty much everybody knows that analog is one thing and digital is another. Nobody knows really why, but you know, it's pretty obvious. Now remember, when the CD came out, it was perfect. We were all told by Sony, it's perfect, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what happened. Yeah. yeah. So this evolved in a particular way, starting with a medical doctor, also a psychiatrist, a brilliant man, who was using recordings of music in his therapy. And he discovered in oh, 1978 or so, that um, he was getting strange results from LPs that he had bought. Uh, his original LPs worked fine, but when they, he replaced them with a, a new copy, you know, didn't work the same way at all. And, and he discovered they were digitally mastered. Mastered, yeah. And so forth and so on. And he really put the finger on, on the problem and uh, I, I've worked with um, various people to try to find a solution. Well, first, understand what is the problem? You can't find a solution if you don't know what the problem is. It turns out that analog is a continuous waveform. And digital is not. Digital is a sampled waveform. Yeah. Yeah. So while the brain experiences a sinusoidal waveform as continuous, it experiences a sample waveform as a sort of da 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 experience, okay? And that causes fatigue and you know what it makes you want to turn it off or whatever the negatives are. It comes from that. Sure. So with inspiration from my original electronics mentor, Dick Berwin, we developed a, a, a way of filling in the spaces with original musical information. It's not a trick, it's not a sound effect. It's actually kind of putting back what got lost. Okay. For example, let's say you play an analog tape and you try to make a copy of it. No matter what digital audio format you use, there's some loss of low level ambience and harmonics and there's something missing. It's not the same. And every, every engineer knows that. I mean, yeah. it's just, just yeah, obvious. <clears throat> and so as soon as you go through that A to D, D to A cycle, as soon as you 
record an analog tape with digital. Something's missing. We're just trying to put it back. Okay? Yeah. So it sounds like the original analog tape. Sure. And we finally, we finally did it. Hmm. And that technology will soon be available as a VST plugin for digital audio workstations. So engineers can uh, process their tracks with this and, and um, <clears throat> make recordings uh, with this technology. Or you can also process existing ones. You, you, you can remaster essentially, you know, um, older recordings. And we have a consumer version of it, which is available now called Masterclass. And it, it, it's a sort of a easy to use, simple way for people in the home to um, upgrade their entire collection of digital recording. Uh, sure. It's easy sure. to do, but, and it combines two technologies. One is this one, which is a, in master class, it's called A+. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit different version of that technology. And there's also a six-band equalizer, which is essentially the digital version of the cello audio palette. Okay. Which is a very expensive, rare, hard-to-find piece. Yes. But master class is actually better, easier to use, and it has cool features. Like, instead of just doing EQ, you can apply the A plus process and you can render and save new tracks. So you only do it once and then you then you have a folder of your masterclass music and just play that. You don't have to do it again and again and again. Uh, it's really easy to use and, and very flexible. And it applies across different file formats? Yeah, well, any, yeah. any file format that QuickTime will play, whether it's uh, MP3, WAVE, AIFF, uh, High resolution. Flack. Uh, Flack, you have to convert to WAVE or AFF first. But oh. with um, Switch Audio Converter, you can batch file convert hundreds of sure. files with one click. So it's no big deal. <clears throat> yeah. um, but what's cool is this. With Masterclass, you can take any standard digital file format from 256K up and get pretty much the sound and feel of original analog master tapes. Mm. It's stunning. I mean, I've made hundreds of analog master tapes and I would love to give them to somebody, but you can't. How can you give them? You have one. Any copy is not the same, right? You're just not yeah. the same. Yeah. They go yeah. downhill fast. So the original analog master tape is something there's only one of, right? Um, with, with master class, I can actually give somebody the sound and feeling of the original recording and maybe better. Why better? That would because be an extremely attractive thing for most uh, audio and audio files and music lovers, of course. Yeah, think about it. Yeah. It's just how imagine, let's say I uh, you you printed this in your mag in um, in your magazine. Mark Levinson will give everybody the uh, uh, the analog master tapes of their entire music library for free. Just buy the software and then you, you buy, pay this price and your whole library will sound like an, the, the original analog master tape. Whoa, man, you'd have like thousands of people. And me, 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 me. You know? yes. so, but that's what this is, believe it or not. When you hear it, you'll... But it's actually not only that, but it can be better than the original tape. Why? Well, there are lots of ways in which frequency response is changed in the recording process by the microphones, by the recording equipment, maybe the analog tape recorders. And these changes add up. You know, it's 0.2 dB here, 0.5 dB there, 1 dB there, but they add up and they really change the sound. And also, recordings are mastered on different types of systems. Different yeah. mastering engineers, every mastering engineer has his own system. So Masterclass allows you to match the recording to your system. Right. I can improve my original tapes a lot because the Studer A80 I was using uh, certainly wasn't flat. In yeah. fact, uh, it was like uh, plus two and a half at 40 hertz and minus two at two kilohertz and plus two and a half at 12 kilohertz. Hey, you can hear two tenths of a dB. Two and a half dB is pretty audible. 
So with masterclass, we can smooth out the response and so forth and so on. So from, from I mean, the point of view of consumer, how as a consumer, how would I, a music lover, how would I access masterclass? What would be the easiest way for me to access masterclass? Just go to the Daniel Hertz website, www.danielhertz.com. You can buy it there, <clears throat> download it and use it. You just need a Mac. Sure. Okay, and is it, there's a version coming for uh, for PC as well? Maybe later. Right now, we don't have the resources to do that. It's a pretty big job. Sure. Uh, but if you make new versions with Masterclass, you can throw them into any player, hard drive, whatever. So if you just get a Mac as a kind of a mastering system. Sure. Uh, and you know, then you can put the files wherever you want. You can get a nice used Mac for three hundred or four hundred dollars, like US dollars. So in other dollars. words, in other words, once uh, once the masterclass process has been applied to the files, they're playable just to, just about anywhere. Yeah, even on your phone or iPad, or sure. you can burn CDs. If you love CDs, you can burn CDs, I guess. But yeah. you know, I don't know why you would. But no. I mean, the idea is that um, there's a now there's an easy fun way to upgrade your music library. And now we have the virus in some parts of the world anyway. Yes. Uh, a lot of people stay at home, like something to do. That's a cool thing to do. And you can also give them to your friends. You know, you can share them. If you have an album that you really like or a track you really like, you can send it to somebody and, you know, share it. Uh, sure. You can also, you can share the presets. So if somebody yeah. has Masterclass and you made a cool preset, you can send them the preset and they can um, use it in, in their version of Masterclass. And it's just, all I'm saying is, it's like a new way of uh, enjoying recorded music because you're not stuck. Right now, you're stuck. You, you, you play the recording and that's it. Whatever you get, you get. But with Masterclass, you're not stuck. You know, you can take it to another level. I mean, I would say Masterclass is for everyone. You know, it's not about a brand or a, a school of thought or something like that. It's just for everyone who loves music. And um, and it also addresses a fundamental issue, which is right now people are thinking, do I buy the LP and have those issues or do I buy the digital and have those issues? And what Daniel Hertz is saying is, well, you can have the best of both worlds, actually. You sure, can have so this we, we, feeling of analog, you know. But not the LP, the original tape. So if That's you merge, merge the qualities of the original tape, of the master tape, and you're able to apply that sort of, uh, that, that sort of quality to your files, uh, you run to a winning thing, I guess, if you're a music lover and, audio, and an audiophile. Uh, Mark, I'd like to um, maybe touch on a couple of other subjects uh, sure. with you um, on, a, on, a, on another occasion, on a part two of this interview. So for today, um, I'd like to thank you very much for, uh, for your time and, uh, and uh, we'll be in touch again very soon for maybe part two of this interview. Thank, yeah. thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much.